Hey everyone, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how you can transfer a call to a human using 11 Labs built-in tools. So you'll need two, two numbers for that. You'll need one inbound number on Twilio and one outbound number on Twilio. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like before I show you how to do it. So now I'm calling my inbound agent. Hi, I'm Eric. How can I help you today? Hi, Eric. I'd like to speak with a human, please. I understand that you... I understand you'd prefer to speak with a human agent. I'm arranging that connection for you now, and a human representative will assist you shortly. All right. Amazing. So... What did we see? We I called my agent and I asked to be transferred to a human. The human, the agent understood that I wanted to talk to a human and then transferred the call to another phone number, which was then forwarded to my number. So I'm just going to show you how it works, how you can set it up. It really takes about five minutes. It took me a few moments to realize what's not working and what not to do. So I hope you can bypass it just by looking at this video and set it up for yourself. So I'm working with 11 labs and uh, let's go over the, the, the basic settings really from, from, from the beginning. So if you don't know 11 labs, you can really set up a, a conversational agent really fast. You have your agents here, right? And you can set them up. This is Eric, the agent I just called. And the prompt was really, I mean, this one's not relevant, but you got the system prompt, right? The first message, hey, Eric, how can I help you today? And then there's one thing here, which is really relevant. So if you don't know how to build agents, look at my previous videos. But this is where the only thing you need to do basically, or two things you'll need to do on 11 labs. And the first thing will be to set up a tool for your agent. And so the way you do it, it's transfers to number system tool. So I cannot add a transfer to number because you can just add one. But if you already, if you, you, if you try to create, create a tool, find a tool that's called transfer to number. And here you put in your Twilio number, right? So you need two numbers. That's what I was saying. And I'll, I'll show you also why so twilio can basically transfer from one twilio number to another twilio number and then it can it can merge the conversation so you cannot transfer from a uh, twilio number to a regular number but we're going to see how we set it up so you need two numbers this is my second twilio number and on what conditions do you want to transfer to a human and to what you know to what for what purpose so let's say f for the sake of the example i asked as soon as a person asks to be transferred to a human you transfer the call to a human no questions asked but maybe in your organization you have finance department and then in finance they, they get transferred to one call but for other order fulfillment, they get transferred to another phone number. If they want to make a say a purchase or whatever, then you want to transfer to another number. And so that's important to write to which condition you want to transfer the call to a human. So note that you'll need two numbers. And here's the, the, the that's the second number. The first number is in phone numbers. You'll need to add it. You'll need to import your number here. So I already imported my credentials right here but if you haven't done it you'll need to enter an account SID and I'll show you where you can find it and enter the phone number here and then give it a label right so I assigned this number to inbound calls to Eric so when I was calling from my wife's phone I called this number Eric answered the phone and then I asked Eric to transfer the call and he transferred it to this phone. So let's look on Twilio what it looks like. So the first thing is a Twilio integration. When and you buy a number and wherever you want, you works, I don't know, in all most of the country, if not all of the countries, you can buy a number and you choose a number. Some are voice SMS activated, some not are not. By the way, you cannot use the SMS for OTP. So if you're looking to create a new WhatsApp account or new Facebook account or a Google account, and they're asking you, you know, sometimes some services asking you to, to get an SMS to confirm or, you know, your number. Google, for instance, automatically cancels the OTP to Twilio numbers. So keep that in mind. Anyway, so you buy your number and you, you get it instantly. So there's nothing you need to do. You get it instantly. And then you, you go to account management and there you'll have 
under API keys and tokens, right below you have the account SID and your key, right? So the account SID and your key. Yeah, that's basically all you need to make the integration on 11 labs, right? So if you haven't done the integration yet, you'll need to do the integration for the first time. If you already have done an integration for one number, the only thing you need to do is add a number. You just need to enter the label, add the phone number and select the ID and it will import automatically, right? So it's super easy. So on the inbound call, there's basically nothing you need to do, just import the number into 11 labs. On the outbound call, you'll have a really, really small setup to do. And that's on the Twilio side, because what we want is that the phone call will be transferred to your your real number, right? So to, to a, a real, you know, a real mobile, not a, a Twilio number or a mobile or a landline, whatever. So what you need to do is create a flow in Studio. So once you have your number, you need to, to go to the flow right here and you need to create a new flow. And this is my flow that already exists. But if you want to create a new flow really easily, there are templates. So let's call it forwarding for the video. Let's press next. And then you can start from scratch or you can, if you, if you scroll below, you will see call forwarding. Choose this one because it just makes everything easier. Choose this one, press next. And on the top bar below, you'll see the triggers, right? So you'll see incoming call, right? And then connect caller to. And so basically that's all you need to do is connect call to and there you write your number. So remember it's in E164. E this means that you need to add the country code and then your number here right and you need to add the plus the plus sign bef before so make sure you add the plus your country code and then the number in the correct format you press save publish and basically that's it that's how you transfer 11 labs or an agent call to a human it's pretty straightforward just remember to buy your two numbers on twilio and add the reasoning inside your agent and you'll hear a, a small transition. So that when the agent passes the, the call to your number, there is another agent suddenly, that's the Twilio agent, that basically takes over and says, you know, I'm, I'm going to transfer the number now. At, at, at that point, my number rang. So I hope this has been helpful. So there is one thing that I forgot to say, and I'm making this video the day after, just to remind you one thing that's very important. When you're going to test your new system with the Twilio agent and your Twilio numbers and everything that's that's working correctly, you, you'll want to test it live from a, a different phone. Because if you're going to test it from this system, right, you have the ability when you click on an agent, you have the ability to test the AI agent, right? So if you scroll down, you'll see I have the transfer to number, everything is, uh, is in place. So I just want to show you that even though I showed you in the beginning of the conversation, I used my wife phone and it was working, transfer the call. When you'll, you'll play around with it and test the AI agent, it won't work. Because you need, for it to work, you need to call from a Twilio number to another Twilio number. So I'll just demonstrate, just to see, don't stress out, it's not gonna work. Hi Eric, I wanna speak with a human, please. I understand that you- All right, amazing, so you see, Invalid message received, transfer to number tool only available for Twilio phone calls. So just remember that, right? Doesn't mean your thing is not working. Your setup might be 100% correct. Just the way you test it is not from the web. Why is by calling from a real phone number, right? So happy building.